How to test the ship security alert system of FMTSSAS devices. This is a master box. It contains a red panic button, a comm port, and a test button. This is the red panic button. When you press it, a security alert is sent. This is the test button. When you press it, the FMTSSAS device will go in test mode. This is the COM port. This port is used for the IDPV mail service. This is its slave box. It contains a red panic button and a COM port. This is the red panic button. When you press it, a security alert is sent. This is the COM port. This port is used for the IDPV mail service. Now let's perform an SSAS test from Masterbox. Press the test button with a non-conductor like a toothpick or plastic stick. After pressing the test button, press the panic button at the Masterbox to generate first SSAS test alert. Wait more than 5 minutes until the test is received by the CSO, and the unit comes back to normal mode automatically. Remember, pressing test button puts the SSAS in test mode for 5 minutes only. After 5 minutes the SSAS will return to normal automatically. Pressing panic button on master box or slave box, during test mode, generates only one test alert. Master box has been tested. Now let's perform an SSAS test from the slave box. Press the test button on the master box. After pressing the test button, press panic button at slave box to generate second SSAS test alert. Wait more than 5 minutes until the test is received by the CSO, and the unit comes back to normal mode automatically. Remember, pressing test button puts the SSAS in test mode for 5 minutes only. After 5 minutes the SSAS will return to normal automatically. Pressing panic button on master box or slave box, during test mode, generates only one test alert. Both the master box and slave box has been tested successfully. For further assistance, send email to us at support at falconmegasolutions.com. Thanks for watching.